It is January 17th, 1991, and the coalition forces are positioned in Saudi Arabia and surrounding waters in response to Iraq's invasion and an annexing of Kuwait. <clears throat> USS America CV-66 had, had completed extensive shipyard maintenance in 1990. On December 28th, 1990, the ship and her escorts departed for duty as part of Desert Shield in the Middle East. And right to the Suez Canal, she suffered an explosion in her engine compartments, resulting in extensive fire damage within these areas. This is incident forced the carrier groups group to return to Norfolk and remove the group's involvement in desert and the Desert Shield storm campaign. I actually don't think that happened. I'm pretty sure USS America participated in Desert Storm. Carriers Kennedy and Saratoga are formed a, have formed a single task force in the Eastern Med. Carriers Roosevelt and Midway are a single task force heading to the Persian Gulf to augment USS Ranger already in place there. As Coalition Force Commander, your responsibilities include complete the ammunition and supply delivery to all Saudi Arabia air bases, provide recon with Iraq within Iraq to locate targets that will cripple Saddam, Saddam's military capabilities, position coalition air, naval, and ground units, and initiate strikes against designated targets in and around Baghdad, coordinate among the coalition countries to maximize the above actions, Desert Shield ROE is currently weapons tight, except against designated targets. If fired upon by other forces, coalition force commanders are authorized to return fire with extreme pre prejudice. And extreme care must be used to ensure that non-combatant individuals and structures are not harmed. So pretty short briefing as briefings go. And this is actually a pretty long scenario. Um, in fact, most of the scenarios in Desert Storm seem to be at least 12 hour, you know, at least 12 hours, which, you know, the default's 24, but most seem to be between the 36 plus hour range for most of these. So let's go ahead and start kind of taking a look at what we got here. And I'm going to go ahead and just let time click away because we are going to get a pop up here in a couple minutes. So we've got the Kennedy and Saratoga, as it said, over here in the Eastern Med. We have acrylic Air Base, some 141s, some F-15s, some J-Stars, some E-3s, some KC-135s, and some rivet joints. We have Air Hack Air Base has some Alpha Jets from Germany. That's interesting. I didn't think Germany actually participated in Desert Storm beyond a logistics capability and money. Um, we've got some RF-104G Starfighters. Um, let's see, and we've got some Mirages from Belgium. Down over here in the Persian Gulf, we have Task Force Gloucester, which has the USS Kid, a couple frigates, and of course HMS Gloucester. We have the Ranger Task Force, consisting of Ranger, the Princeton, Valley Forge, the Paul Foster, and Harry, I can't read that over there, Harry W. Hill, DDs. We've got a 1060, FF 1067, Francis, Francis Hammond, an AOR, AOR Kansas City, and the AE Shasta. And then we've got the Roosevelt and Midway group, which is Midway. Hmm, that's interesting. It's so, oh, there it is. So we got the Roosevelt, the Midway, the Garcia fr a Frigate. We've got the Lady Gulf. And the Ticonderoga herself. Oh, there's our pop-up. Um, the Spruance. All right, and some, basically some more escorts all right provisional headquarters sit rep from provisional force commander to SecDef, jcs hq usa hq hq usn hq usa usmc hq usaf and hq usafe initial personal equipment supply and ammunition movements are complete for acrylic deran king abdul Aziz Air Base, King Fahd International Airport, Al Ain, Al Ain, Al Ain. Not sure how you pronounce that. International Airport, 
Rayman Air Base in Israel, and Doha International Airport in Qatar. Supply and equipment remains to be uh, remains to be augmented at locations below. Until this is complete, currently assigned aircraft will be limited to the weapons possessed on arrival. Transport aircraft located at bases one above are directed to transfer necessary material to. So we got a C5 to from Encrylic to King Fasal Air Base in Saudi. Uh, C-141, actually two C-141s from Encrylic, one to King Fahad Air Base, and one to King Khalid Air Base in Saudi. Um, a bunch of C-130s leaving King Fahad Air Base to a couple of other air bases in Saudi, Oman, and the UAE. C-130 from Al Ain Air Base to Oman. And some more C-130s from King Fahd to Oman and the UAE. So a bunch of C-130s moving around. We'll get to that in a minute. Initial recon missions to determine appropriate targets within Iraq. Especially in the Baghdad, or initiate recon missions to determine appropriate targets within Iraq. Especially in the Baghdad region. Prepare aircraft for intercept missions in support of upcoming strike missions. Long-range bombers B-52G located at Diego Garcia Air Base should be made ready for strike missions. <clears throat> Anticipate strike initiation within the next few hours. Alright, so first things first. We'll go over here to Encrylic. <clears throat> Select our air base. Let's go and launch our C-5. And we'll launch. I wonder if we have to launch two C-141s per base, but it doesn't say that, so I'm not going to <clears throat> assume it does. So we'll launch them individually and send them. Uh, and so the C-141 has like a almost a 2,200 nautical mile radius. And it's going about 1,200 miles to its farthest destination, so it should be good there. The C5, in fact, I'm actually, give me a second here. One thing I do want to do. I want my window in a separate window. If windows would let me snap to the corner, that's better. <clears throat> that way I can scroll. All right. All right, so that'll take care of those. And then we need to go to King Fod Air Base, which is where? King Fod International Airport. All right, C-130s. <clears throat> so we have... How many are we taking up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'll launch individually. And then we need one going from Al Ain Air Base. I don't know where that's at. Come on. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Al Ain International. Going to Al Benteen in Oman. There's a Mon Air Base. Al ben Benteen? I'm not seeing Al Benteen Air Base. Oh. Alright, there's a little bit of a script there. It actually says Al Benteen Air Base Oman when. 
Albantine Air Base is actually in the UAE. That's why I wasn't seeing it. So we need to get a C-130 ready from here. And then let's go down to Diego Garcia. And looks like everybody is actually prepping. So six hours, we'll have three armed with AGM-86 air-launched cruise missiles. These are non-nuclear, obviously. And then we'll, we already have three ready to go with 45, 750 pound general purpose bombs. All right, so nothing actually needs to be readied there. Hey, Moose. And where are my recon assets? That is the question. EC-130s. Defensive ECM. So many air bases. One thing I really wish that that mission briefing would have done would have been to break out where units are. I can understand on keeping it brief, but it would be nice to know where I have units. Don't think we have anything down. We may not have anything down here. We got some Nimrods. Obviously set up for maritime surveillance. Some F-15s. Some Strike Eagles. All right. We do have some RC-135s. So let's go get one of these up now. Perfect. So we got one going up from King Khalid Air Base. Um, we'll save the EF-111s. And then I know Encrylic has some RC-135, so we'll get one of these up. Um, I can do that, Moose. That's not a problem. So, unit count is... A little over 1300. Actually, not too bad. Just waiting for aircraft to launch now. So the C-141s are up, or one of our C-141s is up. So he is going to King Fod Air Base and King Khalid Air Base. All right, so he'll go to King Khalid. <clears throat> C-130 up. He is going to get, I should have 
probably set up a bunch of ferry missions is what I should have done. Select new home base. And then... All right. So... This one should return to El Bentine Air Base. Rivet joint just came up. One C-141, he is going to King Fod Air Base. There's our C-5. And he is going to King Fasal Air Base. So where is that? Oh, King Fasala Bricks. There we go. And I got more C-130s up from King Fun. There's Top Cat. Uh-oh, hang on here. So King Khalid, King Fa, making sure I actually got my transports going to the right air bases. All right, so we got some C-130s, Coco from King Fud, Prince Sultan Air Base. He's going there. Next one from King Fod, Thumb Rate Air Base and Omad or Anoman. You're going there. They have another one. It's right there. So let's see, we already got thumb rate. King L, I'm sorry, L Min Hot Air Base and the UAE. I'm going to take this one at a time. So, Almug 2, Aldafra Air Base. Aldafra. I think my other C-135 from Krilk just came up as well. Bazo, so let's see, where is Baghdad? Baghdad is right there. So let's do just a quick little trip up the border. There we go. Should be, I think, three more C-130s coming up from King Fod here shortly. There we go.
Let's see, he's going to Aldafra. Mazira Airbase and Oman is where the next run is going to. that one so the next one is going to sea bear port in a mod and the last one will be going to Sharj Sharza Sharza airport in the UAE all right there is Coco 4 he's going to sea airport International, and then the last one will be going to the UAE. We're we'll going to Sharja, Sharja, Sharja. Hey, thanks for the bits there, uh, SSN. I missed a C-130. Where did you... you need to go to Sharjah? I'm not sure I missed you. There we go. And that should now be all of our transport aircraft up. Just making sure. Yep. All right. So it should be good to go. And one thing I wanted to look at, and one thing I'm actually, I don't want to say disappointed, but because it actually leaves it open for a scenario that I was thinking about doing, is that I'm a little disappointed that this doesn't include the Apaches against the radar stations that opened up the strike on um, Iraq. But at the same time, I'm kind of happy that that's not included in the scenario because, like I said, I was actually kind of have tentative plans to maybe do that myself. All right. So we're just going to kind of chill as our aircraft all kind of move. I don't really like running super fast because then inevitably something happens and I miss it. Uh, let's just make sure. Wait, do we have... Hmm. I'm... I'm actually a little surprised to see Israeli assets. Um, but let's, since we got it, might as well use it. Let's go get one more Elint aircraft off. And speaking of, what is the range of our rivet joint here? He's got... Eight hours worth of fuel. Elint, he's got 20, almost 3,000 nautical mile range. Should be plenty, but about 1,000 there. Border's only a couple hundred nautical miles long, so should have plenty of fuel. And let's see, what do we got in Bahrain while we're waiting? We got some Victor K2s from the United Kingdom. Doha International. 
RF4C, some F4Gs. I kind of feel like there should be more air units. Oh, we got some SR-72. Or, I'm sorry, SR-71s. SR-72s. What the hell? <laughs> um, so. And, obviously, there's our F-117s already armed and ready to go. we got a Dragon Lady. You two are ready to go. We've got a TR-1. Which is really a U-2, but... Some E8s. Let's go get one of our E8 joint stars up. Have it tag along with the... Um, KC-135. And I think I'm also going to get at least one sentry set up. Enemy mission support. That would be our Oh, we created the mission twice. No, I don't need that mission twice. But there is our Israeli 707 Elite aircraft up. Have him go start patrolling the border. And back to the mission editor. Doctrine. Um, it would seem that for the first time in a long time, I'm actually getting some performance hits here. This is interesting. Hasn't done that in a while. All right, so radars are active. I drop in frames or something? Nope, I'm not dropping frames, so must just be size of the scenarios uh, kind of taking its toll. Let's go get a sentry up. Send a mission. Launch. Alright, so lots of recon assets going up now. Transport aircraft are all still moving. And actually, it was something I was going to check though. What is, so they are cargo, no drop, 16 tons, 2400 nautical mile range, should be plenty to get to all of the, oh yeah, well within uh, its um, range, I can't talk tonight. And there's our E8 coming up. Have him go and then hang out close to the border. So uh, now that everything is kind of all set up and we're just kind of waiting, how's everybody uh, enjoying Desert Storm so far? I messed around a little bit with it in the beta. Probably not quite as much as I probably should have, but I did play around with it some.
I think my only real criticism is I wish there was some kind of smaller scenarios in it instead of like these big long you know two you know day and a half two day scenarios but and I wish there was less hypotheticals in there but at the same time I can kind of understand why there is so many hypothetical scenarios you know you know, scenario-wise, Desert Storm really doesn't break down into all that many unique scenarios. Alright, they're all still climbing. And I actually do like the, uh, the logistics aspect that I don't know who actually did. Um... Desert Storm, but I really like the logistic logistic aspects that they've added, especially in that first scenario where you have to basically move everything from Europe and Conus to the Middle East. Yeah, it's a giant exercise in tanker management, but it's still rather interesting versus the you know always have to be combat. Um, intelligence report, supply and equipment delivery complete for Al Bentine Air Base. That's good. All right. So it looks like our C-130s just have to basically enter the a radius around the air base, which isn't bad. You know, probably not a whole lot of ways to trigger that. So Abyss-1 is landing at Al Bentine. Probably don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and land all the rest of my cargo flights just to kind of maintain a little bit of immersion. Probably don't have to. Well, I definitely don't have to, but... It's interesting, he's not actually descending. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess you can actually land without, uh... That was a little weird. Alright, there's our C-130 for... There's our RC-135. I can't talk tonight either. <laughs> um, there's our RC-135. There's our E-8. Along with our Sentry. All of our other Raiders aren't really picking up anything, so... Probably didn't have to launch the E-3, but... Um, there's nothing really covering this section of the border here, so might as well get something to fill that gap. 